Hello, everyone. This evening, I will be talking about Celestial Frame, which is a current collaborative project going on in the game design department. And we currently have 20 members, and I'm the creative lead and concept artist. So this is the mission statement for our development team. We are striving to create a game that not only encourages and fosters inclusive communities, but also allows players to create their own meaningful and unforgettable experiences. So what is Celestial Frame? Retro side-scrolling action shooter featuring customizable mechs, mobile game featuring Safira Walker, our young protagonist, a young engineer who's going through this, this post-apocalyptic world and just shooting enemies through her massive mech. And the picture that you also see is the head of our main mech, Azrael. And our target audience, primarily elementary school and middle school students between the ages of seven and 50 years old, and mainly fans of the anime and the mecha genre. We plan to release Celestial Frame for the iPad, for the Android tablets, and eventually um, other tablets as well, including the Nexus 9. This is a 2.5D side-scroller with uh, some 3D elements and visual effects. In the full version of the game, we strive to have a free-to-play model with proposed microtransactions and customizable parts that the player can buy and trade with others. Here are some of our core themes. Uh, the most prominent theme is defining your own identity, which is why we implemented the customization system so that players could create a, un a unique mech that represents their own interests and tastes. So here's some of our milestones. We currently have a production team of 20 people with two teachers. Jason Wiesner and Rez are also leading our class. Yeah. And also, we strive to get this project in the spring show. It's one of our huge goals. And by June, we want to release our first playable demo, which will be a vertical slice featuring one playable mech, one boss, and one level, and various enemies. Some of, our, some of our influences, specifically from Emerson Tung, an amazing concept artist who's been designing mechs for years. He's also a former academy student, and he's amazing. So Charles Park, one of our concept artists, collaborated with myself and Cameron Archer, another concept artist from the illustration department, and started designing our main mech known as Azrael. Throughout the game, you can also customize Azrael's color, shape, and various forms. And here's just a small preview of your various options. So what is a celestial frame? In short, it's a biomech that connects to the user's thoughts and emotions. It is literally a physical extension. Well, it's a physical extension of the pilot but in our game, it, symboli it symbolizes the salvation of humanity in which, in this post-apocalyptic world, in which mankind has migrated into space colonies, people are being destroyed and being oppressed by massive machinery. Here's some more weapon concept artwork for the sniper rifle designed by Cameron Archer, our prop designer and weapons concept artist. Our customization system is known as animus, which is the Latin word for life. So you'd be able to customize the core, the head, the legs, the arms, and individual parts to create an optimal experience for destroying enemies and just traversing through various levels in space colonies. Some of our various enemies we have, Sorry. So some of our various enemies, we have swarm enemies, we have emplacement enemies, and we also have a bipedal walker. Here's a concept design that I created with the other two concept artists for a boss. Unfortunately, due to technical limitations, the boss won't make it into the final version of our playable demo, but he is scheduled for release sometime soon. His name is Ignatius, which is the Latin word for fiery one, which is evident by his massive firepower and guns and rocket launchers. Here's uh, Amadeus, which is a fictional space colony within our world. 
And that's all we have. Does anyone have any questions? Great. Let's hear it for Tamarius. Yeah, that was a lot. That was extremely awesome. Um, in the two minutes or so that we have for questions, I do have one question: Is can you talk any, at all about the process of gathering the team together? <laughs> this was <clears throat> this was a very challenging process. I remember pitching this idea to some friends last August, and I literally had no one. And I remember just talking to friends on Facebook and messaging people who I met over summer about this project and just going on the Facebook page and posting things. And it was just really challenging just to get people just who were committed and who really wanted to work. I even had two of my best friends from back home who originally committed to the project and then they dropped out. And it was just really difficult. And it was a good learning experience because it taught me more just about the development process in terms of team building and just building a cohesive team in terms of management and structure. And it's been a great process, but I would say my best advice would be to always just, just keep being persistent and keep being consistent. You're gonna have team members that sign up for your class and drop out. You're gonna have some team members that might sign up for your class and just might not do as much work, but always just strive to have a cohesive team with strong communication and be the passionate leader behind your vision whatever you have. Well, you definitely are the passionate leader behind the vision. Thanks, Tamarius. You're welcome. Let's hear it for Tamarius.